continued from a timeless age in a purple haze. From purple haze to golden days, the violent flaring of Saturn into a polar sun brought mankind into its fabled golden age. A translucent stairway now reached all the way to heaven, a pillar of auroral light that was the Earth's axis Monday, and with it came death and destruction. The extreme earthquake activity and climate changes brought about by Saturn's sudden increase in radiated energy, which would also have resulted in the intensification of the invisible electrical plasma currents spanning the distance between the two bodies called Birkeland currents today and largely responsible for the aurora borealis. As a result, there would have been the sudden manifestation of auroral activity at the Earth's poles unseen before Saturn's flare-up, followed by electrical arcing displays into space towards the new polar sun. Due to Saturn's polar position in the heavens, a mound of water would have previously formed at the North Pole due to Saturn's gravitational effect, in the same way that the Moon today affects tides, but in a stationary way. The sudden flaring of Saturn would have disrupted this gravitational pull and released the mound of water where it would have spread out destructively over the northern hemisphere. The Extinction of Mammoth by Charles Genethel Due to the twisting nature of the Birkeland current connecting Earth with its polar sun, a giant hurricane-like event would then build at the North Pole replacing the previous mound of polar water. This swirling mass of plasma would still suck up vast amounts of water into the atmosphere, only to send it crashing back down to Earth with every future disruption of Earth's electrical link to Saturn. The resulting deluges plagued those species living at the higher altitudes of the northern hemisphere. Add to this sudden and heavier change in Earth's gravity due to the electrical changes in the flaring brown dwarf star and you have the first of a series of major extinction events for the larger and now much more heavier species of the planet. Those unable to adapt to a nocturnal environment would also come under pressure to survive. At this same time, the continued aurora-like Birkeland plasma activity at the Earth's North Pole would have begun to manifest itself into a virtual stairway of light seen as a tapering beam of translucent light reaching all the way up to the flaring Saturn. Taking on various shapes as it fluctuated over time, this translucent connection between Earth and its heavenly god star would eventually be remembered as Jacob's Ladder, the stairway to heaven, and the tree of life amongst other things. In fact, screeds and screeds of rock art from around the world record the many manifestations of this pillar of light, often in the shape of a squatting stick figure with its arms held aloft. More on this in the next section. Spiraling ladders and eight-pointed starburst patterns were also featured in ancient petroglyphs. The Axis Mundi was now established as the dominant feature in ancient skies the appearance of Saturn's rings. As the blackened debris that formed the black spirals of the chaos monster dissipated, a halo of discharged water from Saturn could be seen circling Saturn's orb and settling into a series of rings. These rings took on the look of concentric bands, eventually numbering seven in total. They hearkened to the account of seven days of creation. Did the ancients know Saturn had rings before the invention of the telescope? In the image of Saturn by Saravaggio, note the encircling vines around the god's hips. At about this time, Saturn's formerly impenetrable plasma sheath dissipated as it equalized with the sun's heliosphere. This now allowed the brightest stars in the galaxy to now be seen from Earth. The brightest by far of these was the sun. At that time still, a distant yet growing light that rose in the east and set in the west. Though Saturn still shone as its own sun, the arrival of the sun and its ability to shed light through Saturn's plasma sheath now meant the Earth experienced the phenomenon of day and night. 
Up to nine new smaller celestial bodies could also now be seen orbiting Saturn, while the planet's new rings were now illuminated from the side by the sun's more powerful light. This made them appear as crescents that spun cyclically around Saturn's circumference when seen at different times during Earth's rotation. The result for life on Earth would never be the same again. Man could now calculate time. The Saturnian system was now established. In the ancient world, Kronos now ruled the heavens. The Golden Age has arrived.